everyone, my name is Amber Ray. Welcome to Fab Scraps Card Making Project number 26. Today we're going to use the brand new collection of the Wild and Free collection, C120. All the details can be found on my blog of not only the collection, but the project as well. And there's lots of extra photos on there. Please feel free to share with your crafty friends. Now I've got to say at the end of the video, my head's going to pop up in one of the corners. Um, on YouTube so please feel free to subscribe to the channel to get all the notifications of when new videos and tutorials are available this year there's going to be so much more so you know it's worth sticking around so without further ado let's have a look at today's gorgeous fab scraps tutorial the first thing that we're going to need for our project for our gorgeous wild and free collection from fab scraps is our base card. This is a white 8 by 8 inch base card, blank, and I've already stamped on the back using my handmade stamp. I've added my name. I always add the project number just so that I know where I am with projects. So this is Fab 26. The card itself, I know from my friends across the pond, it's a larger size, and if you have problems getting them, check my blog because there are details of where you can actually purchase and download blank 8x8 cards and make them yourself. So this is our card and we're going to create the inside first. Now for the inside of the card I've already created a stamped panel. So I've cut a piece of ivory cardstock and it's very cream based is this. I've cut it to about a quarter of an inch smaller than the inside of the card. And I'm just going to put the card to one side for now. The panel that I've created, I've used um, my stamp ink pads. Just going round the edge, I've used four colours. They were all distress inks. And there was one that was a dark brown, there was one that's a blue, one that's a green and one that's a pink. I will put the names on the blog of the ink pads. I just can't remember them off the top of my head. And all I've done is I've used the ink pad as it is, as you can see. So it gives a good coloured effect without having to blend. The next thing I'm going to do to the panel before we put it into the card itself, I've cut four strips of cardstock from the actual Wild and Free collection. And it's like a reptile pattern. I might get that wrong, but it's... You know, it's a self-pattern and I just think it looks so cool. It could be a reptile, it could be, it could be many things. Um, it's a gorgeous collection with lots of animals in and uh, lots of flowers that I really don't start naming because I'm going to just show myself up. But it's a patterned cardstock and it's going to match completely to everything. So I've cut the strips and I've cut them to just over a quarter of an inch. I've got tape on the back of them and I'm just going to add them around the edge of my card. Now I've cut four strips and we're just simply going to add them and then turn the card. I'm not looking for precise measurement of where I'm adding the strips but I am overlapping them as I turn the card so if you want to sit with a rule or a measure where you want to put them but you know what you don't have to because it's just for the basis of the insert and it's going to look cool anyway so that's our fourth one and now I'm just going to snip the excess of those strips away so that it will fit inside our card there we go and the final one there we go so we've got our insert ready to go on the inside of our card so we can take our card and I'm going to use my bone folder to make sure I've got a nice sharp crease along the edge of the top of the card now for any new viewers this basically makes it look a little bit more professional when it stands up it's a nice crease along the top and it just looks a little bit sharper and I think it just makes it look a little bit more professional 
So we'll start in with our insert and we can add our insert panel. I've already got flat tape on the back so I can peel the back of the tape away and we can pop this inside our card like so. So because we've cut it a little bit shorter it can give a border around the edge of the card like that and it already looks quite cool but in the middle I've got one of the embellishments from the actual Wild and Free kit that I've cut out and I've also got a piece of craft card that I've just cut to a, a shape and size that will fit into the middle. It's not quite square, it's not quite a rectangle but it fits in the middle. I've used one of my own stamps that says just for you and when I say my own stamps from my stash and I've just stamped the words just for you top and bottom in the two corners and I've inked just slightly around the edge. I've not blended, I've just tapped the edge with an ink pad. I've not done it really carefully but it just gives it the effect of being old I think. So I can stick that into the middle and press it down and then the embellishment that I've cut out from the actual Wild and Free collection Again, I've got flat tape on the back and you can see it's double sided because it's double sided with one of the papers. When we looked at the unboxing last week um, and we ran through them all, you'll have seen the patterns and I'm just going to pop that in the centre. Now I didn't know whether to just put it at an angle. It would look quite good at an angle but I'm feeling a little bit straight and narrow today. So we'll put it straight and that makes a great panel for you to be able to write your message to the person that you're sending your card to and it's just a good quick easy insert for the card. Now we can turn our attention to the outside. I'm going to use my bone folder again just to make sure that crease is nice and sharp. Now for the background of the front of the card I've taken one of the patterned papers from the Wild and Free collection. I've got double sided tape on the back of it that I can peel off. Again I've cut it just a little bit smaller than the size of the card by about a quarter of an inch so it just gives a little bit of a border just around the edge and I can press that down. So that's the base of the front of the card. Now the next thing for the front of the card in the collection, um, Fab Scraps always include an album. I've taken the mini album front cover, I've inked it using lots of different colours of ink and I've just had fun using lots of different colours and then I've heat embossed it with clear heat embossing powder. I haven't done the edges, I've only done the pattern in the centre and you can see how pretty that looks and the heat embossing with the clear embossing powder over the top just finishes it off. You don't have to do that but I just thought that would make it look even more interesting. Now I've got flat tape on the back of it, I've already taken the back of the tape off in the middle so I've just got the edges to peel off. Now because this is the front of the album it's a little bit of a heavy embellishment and that's why I changed my mind and I decided to use the card this way on so that the fold was at the top because that will help hold the weight of the album. It's not really heavy, it's only, um, they call it beer board, it's like a, a chip board but it's a little bit heavy for a full embellishment. So we can stick that down over the top of the paper that we've already put on for the background. Now it's not going to go edge to edge because the card is a little bit bigger and it's going to give a little bit of an area around the edge. You see where? I mean just along here. Now I've got something that's going to tidy that up because we've not inked the edges of this. And what I thought was, we're going to use the same method that we've used for the inside. 
I've cut four strips, now these are three quarters of an inch and I've got double sided tape on the back of them and I'm going to run the strips around the edge plus it's going to cover the holes from the album I've just picked one of the papers that was in the collection and it just so happens it's the pattern that could be reptile skin and we're just going to take all four of these around the edge and cover the edges of the card and in the meantime it covers the edge of the actual we'll call it an embellishment now because we've changed it from a scrapbook album cover and that just sits nicely around the edge so now we can trim the excess away and I'm going to do this from the back and that should help me be able to keep it in the same shape nice and square she says and the last one there we go so that's our album front with a gorgeous border so we can press that down nice and firm and it covers the edge I've then got four circles of black card that I've cut out and I've made to look just like buttons and I'm going to add these just in the four corners you could use any cardstock and you could use any size of circle you might have a button die that you could do that with but that just helps with the corners where we've overlapped them it takes the eye away from it next I've taken one of the embellishments from the actual wild and free kit collection and I've cut it out and it's got I'm gonna say it's a leopard but don't email me if you think I'm wrong and lots of florals gorgeous African florals I've got foam tape and flat tape on this and I'm going to just lay it kind of at the top in one corner I'm not going to press it down yet because I want to make sure I get everything in the right place first I've also taken one of the little tags that I've cut out from the Wild and Free collection and I've used a stamp that's in my own stash and it just says sending blessings so this could be any occasion you could change it to the occasion that you want to use it for and I'm just going to lay that to one side of the larger embellishment I've also got a little bow in a gorgeous matching olive colour that I'm going to place over the top now I don't want to cover all of it up to lose the animal, the leopard and I know it's not a tiger because tigers are striped and there was some on the telly this morning that just had little ones so I'm presuming it is, I wonder if it's a cheetah a leopard, we'll go a leopard, see I'm confusing myself now so just press those down because I think roughly about there she says and then I can put the bow at the top and press that down when I'm happy and at home you'll be exactly the same when you're happy that you've got something in the right place and that is our card finished how quick and easy is that how cool does that look and it all matches stands up perfectly it'll look great on any mantelpiece and the colours of it, for the colours in the collection, is just so pretty, it really is. And as I say, I had fun with my ink pads. I didn't necessarily think about the colours that were in the collection. I just went for it and added lots of colour. But it just all works. It's, so, it's such a beautiful collection. So much is going to work with it. Check my blog for details of how you can purchase it door to door, wherever you are in the world. And it is just one of those collections that's going to work for so many different 
adventures and trips whether you go on safari or you go to the zoo or you just go on holiday it's going to work for journals for mini albums big albums card making mixed media you name it, it's going to work for it and it just makes the gorgeous gorgeous projects so i would like to say thank you so much for watching and i shall see you next time